So this is like a little uh, film series about our road trip. I've never done anything like this before. Um, I am very excited to do this. I know some things have gone wrong and we'll talk about those while we're filming. So in August we went on our very first trail trip. We took the car, we took my own car and we drove through Belgium, England, Wales and of course a part of Scotland. The trip began at like 7 o'clock in the morning I think. We had the car all packed and we drove. We drove! <laughs> we drove all the way across France to Dunkirk. Where we took the ferry to Dover. With the yellow jacket, really? I'm filming you. Oh, you're filming me. We got out of the ferry and we got onto the road. And right from the get-go, there was this roundabout. I think it had three lanes, three or two lanes. And I just remember, I didn't know in which lane I was supposed to go. I was concentrating on driving on the wrong side of the road. Driving in Great Britain for the first time was better than driving through Belgium. I'm sorry. People weren't nice to me there. Anna didn't drive in Great Britain. I drove in the beginning. Genau. Bleib einfach links. Fahr nicht zu schnell. Nach 1000 Fuß im Kreisverkehr erste Ausgabe. Nach 1000 Fuß! Willst du mich verarschen? Driving in Great Britain was an adventure. Google kind of surprised us. Usually it's the metric system in meters. And suddenly it told us, well, in 1000 feet you have to take a ride. And we we're like, what? <laughs> ich weiß nicht, was ich. Und linke, linke Spur, linke Spur, linke Spur. Ich we freaked out, took a wrong turn. I drove on the right side of the road, literally. Nein, falsch, du bist falsch, du bist ah, links. But luckily there was like no one in front of us. When we got there to the Airbnb, I think I've never been so relieved in my life. Think left. After getting to Great Britain, we stayed our first night in Folkestone. We had a little room. In a really like typical British house. It was like, Tiny and tall, but like it was, it wasn't super wide. So on our first night in Folkestone, we went out to explore the little town. Um, we've made it to Folkestone. It's our first stop, and now stop. I have to stop, and then we'll be looking for food and some nice spots to photograph. All right, still no food. Um, Anna's off taking pictures, so I'm alone right now. But we've found like a little pier, I guess you could call it. There's a lighthouse back there and there's this super cute little home. I'll show it to you right now. some nice pictures there and there was a little lighthouse well little it was a lighthouse <laughs> i just loved looking at it and i loved taking pictures of it i think that was my favorite part of day one afterwards we went out to eat we went to this little restaurant it had 
great seafood. So we had mussels and they were delicious. They weren't even that expensive for like mussels. Well, we ended the day with the meal and then we went home or to the Airbnb and went to bed right away. So we could basically get up the next day and head out early in the morning. This thing is fucking heavy. On day two, we headed out early so we could see the close of Dover up close. So we went into this blue little watchtower, which was really cute. And there was like a fake telescope, but it was really great for pictures. We spent a whole bunch of time in there. It had so much photography potential. Like we stayed there way longer than we were supposed to. We filmed in it, we took pictures of it, we walked around it. Then we headed out, we walked along the white cliffs and just took some pictures, tried to fly the drone. Had to take it down after three seconds. So that didn't work out. We took a bunch of pictures. We had a great time, even though the weather was way worse than the day before. Welcoming Great Britain. The mood that was there actually did benefit though, because the pictures that I took are in a style that I've been wanting to take for a long time. It has this maritime look to it, especially the ones in the watchtower with a telescope and everything on it, which I really like. After the Cliffs of Dover, we headed to London, which is like my favorite city in the whole wide world. So yeah, the thing is about London, there was this folder with all our footage, which was pretty great. And it's gone. I'm not gonna say it was my fault, but it was. So we can only talk about what happened in London, um, which is sad. We can show you pictures but the footage is pretty much gone. If you take videos and you want to save them, maybe copy them to two devices and not just one. On our first day in London, we arrived at our Airbnb and it was really nice and cute. It had a great location. We had a great room and the subway station was literally like five minutes away. We went into the city on that day. We just went exploring for a bit. We saw the Tower Bridge, the Shard, um, the Tower itself. London is an interesting place because it has such amazing architecture. And I'm not really the biggest architecture photographer. London actually was like the first city that I started to take pictures of. I mean, it was like with an iPhone and I had no idea what I was doing, but I just loved the buildings there. And that was actually like the first step to getting into architecture photography and like street photography for me. And I was very happy to be able to go back into this beautiful city and take some, I might say better pictures of it this time, hopefully. Highlight of day one in London was probably the food. We went into this restaurant bar thing. I don't know, it's called Brew Dog, and they, they make beers. We ordered chicken wings and some fries and some mac and cheese and also some beer. Well, we were so hungry, we didn't notice that the wings were hot wings and came with a bunch of hot sauce, which was way too spicy for Anna. So I didn't eat much of them. And there were like these fries with cheese but they were like with hot sauce too. So I didn't eat most of that too. And Max actually ordered mac and cheese. So I ate that. She ate it. She ate my food. On day two, we actually wanted to go to Piccadilly Circus, but on the way there, we decided to get out at Camden Town already, which is one of my favorite parts of the city because it's like this really, 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 really big market. It's like a few kilometers long and you can get basically everything there. They have like these super artsy buildings that are all over the place. They look great. They're so different. I've never seen something like this before, to be honest. We actually only wanted to go to Camden Town for like an hour. I think we spent over two hours there because we were just exploring and taking pictures and videos, which are gone. <clears throat> but... <laughs> 
yeah, we took some some cool pictures there and I bought a necklace for me and my mom and we had some bubble waffles, which were delicious. Afterwards, we went to Carnaby Road. Um, Anna wanted to take some pictures in a store. I don't know the name of the store. It was fine. I was in the best mood, mainly because I hate shopping and it felt like shopping. After Carnaby Road, we went to a bar, which is on the 42nd floor of a high rise. It was perfect because we went there while, um, while it was sunset, so we could just like see this beautiful sunset over the city. It was just beautiful. And then we also saw the city at night from up top, which I haven't seen yet. It was great. I mean, I love the pictures we took up there. It was a beautiful view. I mean, like, probably the best view I have ever seen of any big city. The drinks were okay, but that was not the point. The point was the view. So after London, we went to Wales. We drove for about five hours. It was the first time I drove in England. My expectations for Wales were not high, like at all. It was like always like, yeah, okay, Great Britain. And then it was like, Wales. There was like nothing there that I would really like look forward to, but boy I was wrong. <laughs>